Alright, I'm gonna do uh, my third season of Gilmore Girls, making the episodes from my least favorite to my favorite. I was going so close to being done with this, and I forgot immediately what an episode was about, and I blanked, and I'm so frustrated with myself. But I'm gonna start with 22. Uh, Lorelai out of water. It's when she goes fishing with Alex, and the scene with Luke teaching Lorelai how to fish was adorable, but not enough to pit it up any higher than it is. 21 is Swan Song. It's when Jess gets attacked by the swan, and then he goes to dinner at Emily and Richard's house without Richard being there, and because uh, Emily wanted where he to introduce her to Jess, and um. Lorelai, Rory is being like really annoying, very, very annoying in the whole thing. And I, but I did like Luke and Jess like trying to find this swan together. That was hilarious. Uh, Jess is a huge jerk in this season, even more so than season two. But I love his relationship with Jess and Luke have one of my favorite relationships on the show, and this is the start of that relationship, in my opinion. 20, here comes the sun, Jess's dad comes back, it's uneventful. Not a fan, no, not a fan of that, that not a huge fan of this episode. Hence why it's only at 20. Um, then 19 is that old do pig. And it's the episode where Emily stands up for to herself against Emily's mom in that very small, I mean, Emily's hand up to Richard's mother in a very small way, but it's great. Um, then 18 is face off. It is a hockey match. Uh, Dave tells Lane that he wants to date her and be like with her and it's so cute. And I'm so sad that Dave and Lane did not end up getting married because that was the plan. They were gonna get married. But uh, then Adam Brody got the OC and now obviously it didn't happen, and I'm still bitter about it, but it's fine. Uh, 17, I saw him with Swear. This is the episode where Emily is being sued by one of her maids, and she wants Lorelai to testify for her and say Emily's a good boss, and Lorelai kids not want to lie. And you don't show the scene of her on the stand, but Emily's reading reads a Lorelai's transcript back to her and it's really funny. Um, 16, the big one. <coughs> That's the episode where Paris and Rory, <coughs> oh my god, find out if they got into their dream school. And Rory got into Harvard, Yale, and Princeton. And um, Paris got rejected from Harvard. And I love when she says, I had sex, but I'm not going to college. But then I also love Liza's acting when Paris is crying um, on Ori's shoulder. And she's saying, like, she doesn't know what she's going to do. And she's so scared. And it was, like, the first real time, first real human moment for Paris. And I love the acting. I thought it was really great. 15, happy birthday baby, it's Lorelai's birthday. I I love the scene between Richard and Lorelai, him giving her money, and that whole thing was really cute. And I really wish that Lorelai would have saved the money because so that she like, used it for herself, like Richard wanted her to, like he was asking her to, which I feel like that was like him being like, don't tell your mother about this. Um. I think she had to use it for the end with Suki, but that's fine. 14, say goodnight, Gracie. This is the one I blanked on. I looked it up literally before I filmed it. I went through it, and I was like, okay. And then I was, I was filming this, and then I forgot again. But say goodnight, Gracie. Uh, Fran from the bakery dies. And it's sad because the actress actually died, I think, uh, beginning this year or last year. But in any case. She has passed away in real life. And the actor who played Bootsy, the uh, newsstand guy, also died, I think, last year or this year. In any case, he died the same year. Um, but yeah, Fran dies in this episode. And Lorelai and um, Suki end up being told that they will be able to buy Dragonfly in. At they that end up, they, like, oh, because Fran owned Dragonfly in and she wouldn't sell it to them. And so during the funeral, 
uh, Florlai and Suki are talking to the lawyer, which happens to be Melissa McCartney's real life husband, Ben Falcon. Uh, fan fact. But uh, yeah, um, they talk to him and they, he, he tells them pretty much that they can put an offer in to the end that it's available to buy. So they get excited about that. Um, 13, a tale of pose and fire. And the catch on fire, and it's amazing. I love crisis episodes a lot. Like, I love episodes where it's like high stakes, they're very dramatic, and this is very dramatic. And Lorelai handles it really well, and um, and it's just, it's just, it's just great. I love it a lot. Um, uh, 12. Uh, okay. Those lazy, crazy days. I had to switch 12 and 11. But 12 is those lazy, crazy days. It's the first episode of season 3. And I loved it a lot. I loved Lorelai like, basically being the audience to worry and being like, pick one, just Sardine, choose a side. <laughs> Um, but other than that, like, it's not bad. I, I love it. I, I do love it. But, you know, I like other episodes more. And with that, 11 is Those Are Strings Pinocchio. It's the, uh, season finale. It's Warrior's Graduation. And it's really good. I love it. Um, number 10 is Haunted Lake. <laughs> this is, uh, this one is up here as high as it is because... Of the confrontation with Rory, Lorelai, Chris, and Emily. Um, I love Rory sticking up for herself, which I've always appreciated. What I've always appreciated is that Lorelai let Rory speak for herself, you know, have her own feelings. Um, and this, at this scene was so good because Rory just like lets Christopher have it it all out on him and Lorelai is just like okay she sat, stands there we'll let it happen let's Rory speak her truth and I love that scene and I love Emily telling Chris to leave it's beautiful okay nine application anxiety this is the reason one of the reasons I decided to refilm this because it would have been me nuts because I forgot about the real reason I love this episode so much. And it's I love that I put it up at nine without really remembering everything. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, yeah, it belongs at nine. It does. Um, it's the one where uh, Lorelai and Rory are freaking out over college applications. So they go to alumni's house, <laughs> Harvard, someone who went to Harvard's house to meet his family and to get in for, um to get help with her application and uh get a I don't know just talk to someone who's been through it and the family's really weird and there's a sister who does kids parties and she's like the black sheep of the family because she didn't go to college but the kids are like the ones that have gone to college they're really weird and creepy and the family's just weird and creepy and I love um Lorelai kind of insisting like trying to tell get Rory on board with the, like the inst the siblings are like incest um thing um that in storyline that Lorelai had made up in her head with the brother and sister which I mean she's probably not far off let's be honest but I just love it so much I love episodes where they're out of their comfort zone and you can really see the best friends coming out because they have only each other to rely on in those situations and it's like really fun and awkward but again, I love that episode for that. And I can't believe I made the, the first video. I completely forgot to talk about it. And it's just been bothering me. And now I have it out of my head. And I feel so much better. <sighs> okay, so eight is let the games begin. When I did the first 
video, but I forgot what this was all about. Um, but it's when Richard's tri chicks Lorelai and Rory to go to and Emily to a trip to Harbor so Lori could talk to um, somebody who works in the application department or whatever. And I love it so much. It's so good. I can't believe I forgot. Okay, I'm not. I I don't associate. I don't know episode names. I just know episodes. So I didn't know. I didn't know that just that all this happened in this episode until I looked it up. But um, it's cute. It's really good. I mean, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of times where Rory and Richard have conflict, but I feel like they did it well in this episode. And I really hate Lorelai going forward like after like I think season four is when I started to really like not really like her as much um but she was really over dramatic about this in my opinion it was bad but she kind of painted Emily as a bad guy when Emily was trying to help the situation and um and yeah I don't like how she was hitting Emily at all um but I loved hearing the story of when, of how Richard proposed to Emily. Um, because I love Richard and Emily so much. And I love knowing them more of their backstory and, and of all that. And I love Richard telling Rory that when Lorelai was a kid, I forgot her age, but when she was a kid, she stole Richard's diploma from his office and wouldn't give it back to him. And she said she wanted to go to Yale just like him. It was just a sweet moment. Um, is there anything else that I'm missing here? I'm really trying to think, like, really, really um, think. Yeah, okay. Um, 17, no, 7, okay, yeah, is um, 8 o'clock at the Oasis. This probably seems weird that it's as high as it is, and there really is anything special about it, but I just love it a lot. When it comes up, I get excited to watch it. It's just, if uh, you have a neighbor that they don't ever, ever see again, he's new, and they go to his house, Lorelai and Rory go to his house to like um, water the plants, and they get in the house, and there's all these game board, and it's really sketchy, but I do, as much as a jerk just that just becomes in this season, he's at his worst in this season. He really is. Um, but Worry is trying to. She, she's uh, doing the sprinklers for Lorelai because Lorelai can't get to the house at the time she needs to get there. So Worry turns the sprinklers on, and then she tries to turn the sprinklers off, but she can't figure out how to do it. And she's soaking wet. And she's walking down the sh running down the street because she's paged uh, Dean, but he's not getting back to her. So she's running back to the town to find someone to help her. And Jess is there, and he helps her, and he turns them off. And then Rory gets a page that Dean's on his way, so Jess turns them back on, so Dean doesn't like start or anything with Rory over it. And to me, that is the first decent thing that Jess has done for her. You could argue maybe he did other things, but this was without end turtle motives. Um, except maybe her kissing him at Suki's wedding and then asking him not to say anything and he doesn't say anything. Like that and this, I feel like, are like two moments that show him in a good light and there aren't that many to be honest but that's one of them um six one's got class and the other one dies this is the episode where Lorelai and Luke go to talk at the high school about their jobs and all the kids want to do is talk to Lorelai about having a kid when she was 16 and then it's also when Luke, uh, Laurel, uh, uh, Lane <laughs> dyes her hair purple and it's iconic. This episode, the whole thing is iconic. It has Karen's in it and I think this, 
the first introduction to what a Karen looks like with the haircut stuff. Amazing. I think her name was Kathy, though, so that's funny. Um, okay, number five. This is a mess. Who is this? Which one? Okay, trying to think, remember what number five was. Oh, number five is, um, is what? Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Okay, so we got one more left. Five is a deep fried Korean Thanksgiving. Um, that's five. Um, I just love it so much. Like, it's fun. You get to see all these different Thanksgivings. This is Ken, Luke, Emily, and Richards. And Suki, and Suki gets drunk because uh, Jackson and his cousins are deep, kind of deep by a turkey, and it's all very fun. And that's the well, first time, really, I guess, that uh, Lori and Jess are like a public um, couple, and it's really awkward, but it's really funny. It's really fun. Um, four is Keg Max. Um, this is the one with the party, and I forgot to mention that Say Goodnight Gracie is the aftermath of um, Keg Max. It's, it starts with Lorelai picking up Rory from Kyle's party and seeing this huge mess and finding out what it was caused because Dean and Jess we're fighting over worry, and then Lorelai sings, You Are the Gwen Beneath My Wings. It is one of my favorite openings of the whole series. I love that scene, and I'm glad I remembered it, because I would have driven me crazy if I didn't mention it. And then rewatched this, and I was like, I forgot another thing. Um, but yeah, Kig Max is, I guess, part one of that whole thing. Um, and Lane gets drunk, and She's playing in a band at a party, and it's when her and Dave were still trying to figure out their relationship, and it is just so much fun except for the fight. And this bedroom scene between Rory and Jess is awful. Jess is awful on that whole episode. He's just so, so, oh, he's, he's gross. He's really gross um, in that scene. But, yeah, it's a good, it's a good one. Um, number three is um they shoot Gil they shoot Gilmores, don't they? That is the dance marathon. And as much as I hate confrontation and I hate the Justine Rory uh triangle, it's not nothing to do with that. I I just love the dance. I just think it looks like fun. I love how the all the costumes. I love Kirk. I love seeing all the traditions at the at the dance. I love uh, when Dave and Lane kind of start uh, talking a little bit more. I love Mrs. Kim's eggless egg salad. Mrs. Kim is iconic, and I love her in this episode. She's amazing. Um, number two is Dear Emily and, and Richard, and it's the episode where Sherry's giving birth because is girlfriend, fiance, who even knows, but she's giving birth, and, um, Lorelai is reflecting on when she gave birth to Worry, and when she left Emily and Richard's house, and left them a note, it's all so, it's, it is very good, it's very strong, um, except they made a blooper with young Lorelai, she looks like Lorelai, except for the fact that the actress who plays young Lorelai had brown eyes, and Lorelai has blue eyes. So that was a little, that was a mistake. <laughs> but other than that, she did look like Lorelai. It kind of sounded like a young Lorelai would sound like. So they did good, did, did good with the casting on that front. And then number one is take. The Deviled Eggs. And I was like, not, I know this is my favorite episode. I know. But.
But I was like, how? Nobody else will probably like this episode like as much as I do, but that's fine. I love this episode so so much. It's when Lorelai and Rory go to Sherry's baby shower and everyone's awful and every single person's awful. But I love it for the deviled eggs scene where Lorelai and Rory throw deviled eggs at Justin's car. It is one of my favorite moments of the entire series. And I just, that scene is every time it's gonna happen, I get so excited for it. Because I hate Jess with all of my heart and soul during season two and season three. He is one of my least favorite characters in both of those seasons. He's a jerk, he treats Rory like trash. He is no good. And Everyone who's like, well, he came from a travel path. I don't care what his past is. I really do not care. He was 17, 18 in the third season. At that point in his life, he needed to make a choice in how he was going to act. And he knew the way that he was acting was not right. But he did not care to change at that point. He does later. But in any case... <laughs> It's like, not an excuse, it's not. Him having a troubled past is not an excuse for how he treated Worry because his past is not her fault. So, just, I am just so tired of it. And then there are people who kind of blame it on Worry, like, oh, she um, expected too much from him. She didn't expect anything from him. She expected him to call her when he said he was going to. She expected him to communicate. She expected him to show up when he said he was going to show up. That's it. She expected the basic level of commitment that you can have, which was just to talk to her. All she wanted was just to talk to her. That is not her asking or too much. She wanted him to communicate with her. That is not asking for too much. That is asking for the bare minimum of a relationship. So, I'm just tired of the excuses. I'm tired of people being like, well, you know, Rory had expected too much. She didn't. She didn't expect too much at all. She just wanted a phone call. So, that's it. And he dumped her. She left her without saying anything. So, like, bitch. Bitch. He is a bitch, okay? <laughs> That's what he is. Um, but anyway, I, that, 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 if you can tell, that has been on my heart for so long. But again, back to the episode, um, Take the Devil Eggs. Um, people who watch this episode are wusses. Like, they're like, they're so mean for doing that. I'm like, did you not see everything else he's done? Did you, have you not seen all this stuff that Jess has done to other people, including Tori and Lorelai and Luke? He can deal with double eggs on his car. Um, but it's just, again, I just love that the scene where Lorelai and Rory are throwing the double eggs and then they go in the Jeep and they're trying to do the getaway car sounds. It is so much fun. It is my, I get my favorite episode of season three. Oh, okay. Uh, now I am done. I am done. I have done it. I know I'm done. I, I am confident in saying that I do not have to film this again. Oh, okay. So, uh, next is season four. And I don't think we're going to have that much of a hard time, but we'll see uh, how that goes. But uh, that is all. Goodbye.